I'm up? The little lady. Oh shit. Do some zooming. Uh, it's already I'll, on. I'll get on the CPU. Well, howdy, YouTube. Welcome to another episode okay. of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. You have the Rhino. You have the little lady Booberry. We have Ithaca Beer Company's. Where's my bonnet? I need dark a bonnet. Vine Black I have IPA. A bonnet at home. <laughs> cool label. Cool name. Ewart uh, says, holy shite, Amish rhino beer review. That's not an Amish hat. Have you have you ever seen Breaking Amish? I'm joking. Are you giving me shit, Blue Bear? Ooh. Ooh. Alrighty. Ooh. Yeah, Look yeah, at that black color. IPA all day. Ah, oh, that oh, tastes that's rancid. that's a beautiful brown. It smells rancid. Nice head, you beautiful can brown head as barely well. Barely see through it. Oh, you can a little bit on the edges though. That is, uh, oh. it smells like fresh hops. It yep. smells like fresh wet hops, just all up in your face. It smells oh, resiny. It smells piney, <laughs> and it smells citrusy. And here you go, Colgate. Yeah, I already have this one. You guys enjoy. It. You'll probably it's like it. That's right. See how it compares to Harsh one. The black IPA. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Holy shit, smells it's bitter. Explode, it? Let's try it. I'm scared. Okay, Cheers. It's actually not, not as harsh. Not as harsh See, as it you. smells. It's, oh my gosh. It's way more to the style quality than the, than the IPA quality. For me. But the only I'm thing, the bitter for me is in the wrong part of the experience. It's more towards the end. I prefer it in the beginning. It's still not too just, bad. Like, it's not that terrible. No ABV. Oh, uh, they're all big. They're like nine percent. All, all in that box. That are, are you sure? Uh, Look all. it up, man. For fuck's sake. We need to be. Um, we need to inform our viewers correctly. Yeah, this is fairly nice. I mean, it's well balanced, and that's all I ask for in a big IPA. I ask for it to be balanced. Uh, you get you get the earthy tones. You get some nice citrusy tones. Um, I would say grapefruit and lemon peel. And mm -hmm. you're getting you're getting your piney cedar. Nine point five. Nine point five. That, that's nine point five. Nine point five. See, I would think that's, that's around not six. That's not bad, eh? <laughs> yeah. If the good, when you talk an IP, uh, poppy beer, if the good does it right. They they are doing this right. Like this is perfect. Even even the bitterness that I do taste, even when inhaling um, air, you can I can taste the bitterness more that way. It's actually not even. Yeah. Horrid. It's there, and I don't necessarily like it, but it's not horrible. Now, see, I'm not drinking it right now, but for me, it was more of the stout qualities than, than the hop, the, like the IPA. Oh, qualities. for me, it's like yeah, getting, probably directly half nice, and half for yeah. me. Though. You're getting yeah. a, a nice uh, molasses maltiness mm -hmm. to it, and yeah, that's why. Then you're getting Love all those beautiful hops afterwards, and they're just mixed so well that there's not uh, the bitterness isn't overtaking it, and the sweetness isn't overtaking it. This, and it's 9.5 percent alcohol. That is and not bad. You only get a slight alcohol burn down in the very bottom of the throat. No alcohol burn for me. But we've had a lot of ABV, high ABV beers like, tonight that don't taste like high. Thank ABV you, Chad. Beer. This actually isn't that it's bad. Juicy. I'll say this is like the third huh? IPA I've had that I don't easy. mind. Easy. Really? That's it's awesome. awesome. It's not too bad at all. <laughs> uh, I don't even know what I'd give this. This I really like this. Well, I'll give it like. I'm torn between 6.25 and a 6.5 for myself, and that's weird, but I'll give it a 6.25. Wow, the blueberry is a 6.25. I'll give it a 6.25. It's I not did, so I bad. If I had to guess, I would guess uh, Centennial, Willamette, and... I thought I was going to die, though, well, now that the we smell. Already, already Maybe that's tasted. why it's my expectations were so... It sounds like a great aroma, though. Well, now that we already tasted oh, I hated the, the tasting aroma. note from, from the actual better. box of hops that just came and says... A hoppy Shit. black IPA know, bursting man. with so much flavor that you might think you're tasting a double. Intensely floral nose, surprisingly light body, and strong bitter finish. That's um, that's the thing. The bitterness, like, it's there at the end, but then after... Out of 10? Uh, for me, an Goes 8. Away. Like, I really enjoy black IPAs. It's, it's great balance. Like, it's fucking I, good. I, I think I gave it, like, a 7.5. 
eight-ish. It's all right with you guys. Are you drinking more than one of this easily? Mm -hmm. I, I don't have to keep sipping it. Three, you know, to get rid of the bitter. Get, yeah, to, to, I don't to, have to yeah. keep sipping it. Eventually, it does go away. That's why I gave it. That. I would give it's this. I personally, myself, would give it an eight-five. I would actually actively look for this. I really enjoy it. So Tim would like come in his pants from drinking this, right? I think yeah, Devin, you Probably. and I can split a six pack of this and be happy. <laughs> Anyways, for sure. And then your mommy would tuck you in. Yeah, we would drink it with her in our underwear. Uh, what? It's a, it's a joke from another review. Thank you, YouTube. Hopefully <laughs> these people saw it. Fuck. <laughs> Goodbye. Nobody saw it. <laughs>